What? So it was human? That thing's human? Yo! These curses are human! They're killing humans! Welcome back, I'm Kieran. I came out the womb watching anime and we're about to react to episode 9 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not gonna lie, this series seems to have kind of like blown by. Like, I can't believe it's been nine weeks since we've been watching this. It does not feel that long. It still feels like fresh and brand new. Every episode is quick. I'm looking forward to seeing what the hell is going on with these twisted up cinema people from the last episode. I know, yo, I'm still confused why that guy at the end of the last episode would even dare go up to these guys and be like, hey, yo, um, did, did you leave those bodies like that? Yo, best believe, best believe I would not approach that man at all. And then as soon as he said like, oh, you can see me? Bro, I'll be off. Roadrunner, call me The Flash. I'm gone. I know I can't be the only one. Cause that, I don't know, man, that, that thought was crazy to me. Unless it was someone else that had powers, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. Especially if you love anime content and stuff like Kingdom Hearts, JRPGs, and Nintendo games. We've got a bunch of that going on over here. Also, I regret to inform you, but I have... I have... Yeah, I made TikTok. But we're going to put some uh, anime reaction clips up on there. So if you guys want to see those in short form, I'll make them specifically for TikTok. I may even cover some series that I used to cover on the channel, like uh, Dan Machi and Fire Force in short over there, just so you guys can get a quick snippet of my reactions, just because it takes too long to edit all those from Friday to Saturday. I stream on Twitch as well, so it takes a lot of energy. So I feel like that is most likely where um, like some short reactions for those anime will go up, because it doesn't take long to edit. Um, I'm still watching the, them anyway, so I have no problem recording me watch them. And yeah, it, it might be the wave, we'll see. And of course, the link to the TikTok will be in the description. It's just Chocolate Kieran, same as everything else, everywhere else. He was what? Yo, who was? A button that would make everyone he hates die. Yeah? Damn, he's kind of brutal then. Oh, this is when that guy entered the cinema. So are we going to see how it all happened? Is he feeding off that guy's negative emotions? Is that why they ended up like that? Yo, these guys are trash. Tell her what? That she's trash? Yeah! Yo, speak to her, say something. Damn! Yo, I respect he said his piece though. He wasn't wrong! <laughs> Yo, he said it and he wasn't lying, he was correct. Wait, what the hell? Did it happen that quick? It happened that quick, he just touched his face. So that's why he approached him afterwards. Yo, what the hell? Okay, that looked worse than I thought they did last episode. So what happens off their interaction then? Does he want to join him? Because he's been having mad negative thoughts already. Bro, they're messed up. Can I do that too? Oh, yo! This man wants to have the powers to distort people like that? I don't know, man. Yo, he's kind of twisted. Also, random, but yo, don't come into people's reactions and spoil stuff that has not happened in the anime already. If you're a manga-only reader, do not tell us what is happening in the anime or who characters are because you know from the manga because that is spoiling and that's going to ruin someone's reaction. I'm still low-key mad because someone spoiled something, no matter how minor for me, in last episode's video. Don't be that guy, please. Oh, I guess regular people... Yeah, it's kind of weird when, like, the Jujutsu sorcerers turn up before, like, the actual legitimate um, authorities, right? Like, I don't know. I guess it must be strange for them. Because they don't know who they are and they can't see curses or anything. Oh, does he have to put cursed energy in his eyes as a technique in order to, like, see residual cursed energy? There we go. Okay, this man said, I got no emotions. I just am purely based on logic and logic alone. <laughs> he said, yeah, we ain't homies like that. I can't wait until Yuji meets Toto, though. That's going to be super interesting. They're definitely going to click. Egg salary, man. Is that why his personality is like that? Ex salary man, that's kind of funny. When did he start seeing curses then? Why was he ever a salary man? Can that just happen to people later in life? Yo, Yuji asked the same damn question I did. Oh, oh. He just. He didn't like being a jujitsu sorcerer? What the hell? <laughs> damn. So he was like, yo, I hate being a jujitsu sorcerer and I hate working, but I hate this one less, so let's do that. <laughs> no, what the hell is going on with Gojo? Why he look like that? Fake K pop star? Doesn't recognize Yuji as a sorcerer? Why is that? 
Damn, he didn't put respect on my guy's name. Yo, that was still crazy when Yuji's fingers burned off. He was getting, like, obliterated. This guy does not care one bit. <laughs> he literally doesn't care. <laughs> what the hell? Is that a volleyball player? I'm about to watch Haikyuu next. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Random curse. Lunchbox. Yeah? What the hell? Oh, there was another one, too. I wonder how much stronger Yuji's gotten since he trained with Gojo now. I guess it's... Is a way for us to see. The accumulation of those little despairs, that's what makes you an adult? <laughs> this guy's stupid, what the hell? Why... Why that, of all things? <laughs> the way that fool doing flips. Why is that so funny? Yo, the animation, the way this fool's hair is just swaying in the breeze. Are oh, you talking about critical hits? What kind of RPG is he in? Usually he's fighting this like hand to hand because he lost his blade before, I guess. <laughs> home run! Yo! <laughs> My boy Yuji for a home run. This man is having a whole lecture while he's trying to fight. Okay, this looks smooth. What's he about to do? Oh, wow. So that's why he's wearing those glasses. Lock on like Soge King. Okay. Yo, Persona 5 finisher. Even the way they animate the blood in the water is just perfect. <laughs> I like how Yuji ain't even looking. This curse is just standing there waiting for him to learn. Yeah, I was about to say, how's he just like not doing anything? Oh, he got them serious eyes right now. He's focusing his curse energy. Wow, that looks cool. Damn, look at Gojo in this flashback. Saucy as hell. In his little relaxed gear. Oh, this thing about to get destroyed. That is so interesting. Like the way his curse energy works. Like a two-hit attack. The animation for it looks fire, though. Divergent Fist. Okay. Bro, stop looking so handsome, man. <laughs> what the hell is wrong? That boy is crying. Bro, he made the curse cry with how hard he hit. Damn, that'll be a force to be reckoned with. Like, 100% of his physical ability and 100% of his curse energy. The fact he's not using that all yet and he can do that much damage. Wait, whose watch is that? It's wearing a watch. What? So it was human. That thing is human. Yo, these curses are human. They're killing humans. Wow. So that guy can turn humans into curses. Right, so they already died. Thank God, I was going to say, I knew that Yuji was going to feel super guilty about killing humans, but they were already dead before they became curses. Oh wow, he's teaching that kid about curses? Why can this kid even see curses? Is it just assigned randomly? Has this kid not noticed anything else weird happening? Or has his negativity been built up that much that he's been able to see this guy specifically? Because of this guy's cursed ability. And fire. Especially after that volcano guy burning up everybody in the in the damn cafe. We're scared of fire too. Right. So those curses actually represent nature. I mean, it, it does make sense. Wait, what's going on with that guy's forehead? He had like a... Oh, they put the cigarette butt on him, didn't they? Damn, so he... That's why he's attracted to him because... He has extreme hatred towards those other three people that he took out. So that's why he can see him. Probably. Bro, this guy looks like that one guy from Hunter x Hunter that lost all his hair in the Chimera Anarch. Right, so evil jujutsu sorcerers aren't that unusual then. Or there's been precedent for it in the past. So that's who this guy can become. Or the type of sorcerer. Considering they all think Yuji's dead, it's crazy they're letting him go on missions still though. Ah, oh, bless him. See, he cares about you too. That's what he had to say. Don't call me sensei. I will slap you. God damn, why is he so aggressive? What the hell? Why is he holding that? To see if that he could sense them? Why is he holding little curses? Bro, I might have missed that. Hold on, I might have to look back and see if they explained it. Okay, I look back and I, I didn't see anything. If I missed in this episode, if they tell me in the next episode and I'll see you spoil it in the comments, you're blocked for good. But if they explained in this episode why Yuji is holding that little cursed box and I missed it even though I looked back a second time, let me know in the comments because I don't know. Um, that happens sometimes. That aside though, um, interesting episode. We get warmed up to our new uh, favorite favorite new salary man. We got a new character introduced. I hope they didn't introduce him only for him to die now I think about it because it seems as though he's slowly starting to warm up towards Yuji. I I feel like maybe he's going to face this uh this evil curse that was born from from the hatred of humans. So if he dies to him, 
that's just gonna be messed up. But can we just talk about how saucy Gojo looked in his his like usual chill, I got my glasses on, be spectacled attire? Cause that was fire as hell. Also, it is extremely scary that this guy can actually turn humans into curses. Like that's a pretty damn crazy power. Is that something that could potentially work on sorcerers? Like if he can get a hold of Yuji enough, if he can, I don't know, maybe um, use his hatred or if he has any, I don't know, he seems pretty pure to me. Is it possible he could turn Yuji into a curse? Like what's the extent and limit of his abilities? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Again, if you know from the manga, don't tell me, but if you're anime only, or if you want to give me anime only theories that haven't been answered in the manga, feel free to in the comments. I want to know what you guys have to hear, have to say rather, about this episode. But yeah, this was another interesting one. Jujutsu Kaisen's been, uh, been super interesting as is. This was a good setup episode, I would say. Either way, you guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time.